absolutely fantastic to come and speak to an audience out of Hustons. This is the first one of, I suppose, a whole series of Hustons that we're going to have to do. We're standing in the region because we believe that the devolution deal should include everyone. I'd like to talk about how to create a, a green Liverpool city region and what that would look like. What I want to say today is that I will be the pro-internationalist, the pro-European candidate in this election race. I want to use my personal and professional and political experience to make sure that we can create more jobs, that we can get faster economic growth. My quite clear manifesto is about five key areas around um, ambition, fairness, connectivity, about green and about together. I'd also look, like to see much stronger protection and improvement of our natural environment. Women's voices need to be heard at the table. We need to make sure they have skills and training to really unleash their potential in the region. The Liverpool City region and Merseyside as a whole can do a lot better and it should be playing on the world stage. It should be a big voice. I'm looking to have a green revolution in Liverpool City region that we can take forward the devolution deal and make the best of it. It's about making sure everyone's voices are heard. But most importantly, building a city region that works for everyone. I thought the, the event was brilliant. I thought the candidates were excellent. I thought the questions were brilliant. Really got to the heart of many of the issues I think that the Mayor's going to need to grapple with. I think I was encouraged tonight by the breadth and scope of understanding from all of the candidates. It was a good debate. Uh, I thought most of the time it was balanced. Uh, it did dive into the old political arguments between parties, which is inevitable. Uh, but overall, it was a good, good balanced debate. It was a great debate. It was really interesting. A lot of the uh, really relevant and important small business priorities were discussed. All of the candidates appear to identify all of the problems. What I think we were a little bit weak on is solutions and ideas. And I suppose that will be the test of the whole devolution process. And I think when you look across the piece, all of them had substantive responses. So they, they have, you know, they've thought about how they're going to be as the Metro Mayor, and you saw that in the way that they answered some of those tough questions. George Osborne did say that the mayoral positions that are up for grabs over four cities on the 4th of May is a real opportunity for a revolution. So I'm here really as a business leader, trying to understand who of the candidates can help us as a business grow in the city region. Uh, from our point of view, uh, whoever is the Mayor of Liverpool City Region, we will continue to make sure, as the Federation of Small Businesses, that the small business voice, small business priorities and small business concerns are front and centre. Time will tell whether or not it actually delivers for, particularly for working people, that would be our interest. The first task they've got is to drive up awareness and interest in the Metro Mayor. And I think the candidates and their personalities, they will do that. The more they're out and about, the more they will engage the population, the more interest there will be. I think there's an awful lot of work to be done between now and May to ensure that the population of the Liverpool city region understand what this is about. On the back of that, they then have to be very clear about what they will do as the Metro Mayor and how they will fit in with all the other institutions, business, community, the voluntary sector, how all of those things work. What will the Metro Mayor bring you know, that will be over and above all of that other stuff? Because if you don't put money in people's pockets, they won't spend it in the local economy, they won't build local businesses. So people have to recognise that people are at the heart of this project and investing in the people of our region is absolutely crucial if it's going to be a success. And I think for Liverpool in particular, it is brilliant to hear from five candidates who all understand what the real problems are. And I think for us, the key will be how we get to our solution that will make our economy grow.